Good morning, crafty friend. Sparkle here. So, I needed to do a little project today as I'm waiting to go to the wound care doctor later this afternoon. I always get a little anxious. So, I saw these mittens on um, Pinterest. And you can just um, either go on Pinterest to do a search or just a Google search. And there's tons of mittens out there, mitten patterns. So I did, I printed this, uh, just the regular size, and um, I started working with it. I First I was just going to do a cluster, but this is about um, three and three quarter inches tall and about maybe two and a half, three inches wide at the widest point. And I thought they were too big. So then I was playing around and I started printing different sizes. And I decided to do some paper clips. Now this, um, I, I don't have the sizes. Some of them I did um, five by seven and you, you do a couple per page. So um, I have different sizes here. And um, this is from Dollar Tree. The clock faces are from Graphics Fairy. These were in my stash. Uh, I'm using some of my um, glitter sequins or sequins ribbon stuff. So they're all bits and pieces from my desk. This size is, I like is really cute. Um, as a um, paper clip. And this too. It could be just in a Christmas journal or on a card or something. And you don't have to put the paper clips on them. This one I did not. This was, um, I didn't put a paper clip on it. It was one of my first ones. Uh, you could put a paper clip under the bow here. Um, it is a little visible though. So if that bothers you, then just use it as a, um, uh, stick down on your journal. So, um, yeah, I was just playing around and I thought we would have a play today and just, um, make a few. Okay. So, um, I actually had, what do you call this? It's colored cardstock. It almost looks like construction paper in my stash. I had a, some red and green sheets. So I printed my mittens on there. And like I said, I just, um, played around and got different size mittens and then I also printed some mittens on uh, I printed my a background paper and then I print, printed my mitts on there because I thought that I would um, layer them like this so I have some of them cut out and ready to ready to assemble um, like these two are ready to assemble. I was doing them this way so that they can go down in your book this way. You you could do them this way and make this your top. Um, I'm going to stick with the base as my top. That's just me. Okay. So um, these two don't have uh, what I did for this mesh. I just took a bigger circle and I rough rough cut it around it. When I'm doing something like this, mass make, I like to get all my uh, pieces organized before I um, do assembly. It just goes faster for me. So we're just rough cutting this. Okay, so then um, this could go under here. So I'm just making little um, little clusters. So that one's ready, that one's ready, that one's ready, that one's ready. And we'll do one more real quick. And, yeah. Sorry, if I'm just... Okay, so then, um, oops, that one looks a little wonky. 
So then when we put these on later, um, there's like a little base here. Okay, so we have them ready. Um, I have various toppers. I have, um, these are all from the Dollar Tree. So I have the bows, but um, they were kind of big for Uh, for the littler ones, I thought they were too big. So we have these littler bows we could use for them, or we have some holly leaves. So, yeah. So we have some choices. And these are 12 to a pack. And I've gotten these the last three or four years, so I'm sure they'll come out again. So... Let's see, I've got all my clock faces. They came on a sheet from Graphics Fairy, and there was like um, French clock faces uh, by Dreams Factory for the Graphics Fairy. Okay, so um, there's many different sizes. I just took the smaller ones. So those are cut out, everything. Let's uh, just cut some of this out while we're chatting. I hope you're all having a great day. This one I just um, outlined with my gold. Pen. Let's see how that cuts out. Uh, that covered the black line for sure. And I think I'll just cut around the gold. I didn't want to get too messy with paint and even with my gold um, um, oh, what's that called? The wax. I forget what it's called. But you put it on with your finger. Oh my goodness. I think I need more coffee today. It's Tuesday. So I kind of like that gold trim. So I might do that to a couple more. And then we're going to cut this here. Um one that we printed and this one I'll cut within the black lines I'm trying to use my finger but it's still quite painful So, I'm making um, white chicken chili in the crock pot, because I have to go to the doctor's late. She sees me at the end of her um, patient load for the day, and um, I don't have an appointment. I just show up. So, if we're going to do the paper clip... We put our clip on here um, when we're ready. And that's why I made the second layer here to cover the paper clip. Okay? And then, you know, the bow or something on top here. Okay? But we're not there yet. So we're just cutting. So, and these are my layers. Let's try to keep everything together. Okay, so that one's ready. That one's ready. That one's cut out. Okay, these three are not. Um, I think I liked it tracing this with the gold uh, metallic pen. I think I got this from Crap, Crap Fire, the wax company that I was... Um, showing product for. Okay. Let's um let's do a couple of these with the gold. And then I could just sit and dry for a minute while
it's too hard to do them after you cut them out for me. Let's see how it'll show. Um, this one I had some stickles on. Um, It's harder for me to do them when they're already cut out. I don't know why. It'll be okay. This one needs to have this cut out. Yeah, so I was just playing with different size glove mittens. I don't own mittens in Arizona. My husband does. He owns gloves. But he's always cold. Okay. So let's uh, just give a quick cursor here and see, cursory look and see, that one's done, that one's done, De oh no, this one has to be cut out, yeah, you're making me crazy. It's the flavor of the day. I also got some butter pecan and some, uh, what is it, cream brulee? I don't know how to say it, but it's very tasty. It's like, almost tastes like a Starbucks drink. And if I mix some of my collagen powder and uh, add a little maple syrup, some of the good stuff, it's going to taste amazing. So yeah, I guess the hardest part is getting everything cut out. But like I said, get everything organized. Then you just can sit and... Um, this to me is very therapeutic. It's very, um, don't have to think a lot. There's no sewing. You could sew, you could stitch. You could collage these with different papers. I might, um, these, um, these bigger ones that I have, I just might collage them later for a different project. Okay. So, yeah, and the only thing you got to remember is um, the direction of the clock when you um, go to put that down. So like I said, I want mine to go this way, so my make sure that I turn my faces around, okay, because I'll forget. So remind me, that's your job. Probably close that pen. And I can't believe my finger still hurts.
like a probably a six or seven on a pain scale. I mean, I'm not dying. So I can't really complain, but. Very uncomfortable. But I can move really quick if someone comes near me or I feel my finger is being threatened by something and I can move pretty darn quick, let me tell you. All right, so then this will go here. We have a piece of this green mesh here, and our clock will go like that. So, let's see. Clock. Clock. Um... All right, I think we have everything cut out. So, we're going to assemble. I like these littler ones best, but I don't even know. What size they are. I don't think this is the same one. My goodness gracious. No, it's not. So I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just cutting different sizes. But they're cute. So, um, I just went through and I uh, darkened my clock faces. Okay, that's the only ink we're going to really do. Oops. This one's a little very dark. Okay, just to stress them a little bit. All right, so we're going to take this one and I might have to chew up a little bit. Yeah, see, I, I don't know that I like. Well, I guess they could go like that. I don't know why I'm hung up on doing them this way. But that's the way it is. So, I'm going to put a piece of double-sided tape over the... Paper clip. And then I'm going to just use my um, art glitter glue. For the glove. Oops. Yeah, it just helps hide the paper clip a little bit and gives it some reinforcement. Um, I'll ink this or something behind it. I printed it on both sides because I was checking sizing. And then we're going to put that there and that there. Put a little rhinestone in here. Um... for a minute. Let's see if there's any glue left in here. Oops. 
Um, there is a right and a wrong side, okay? This is flat and this is raised. So we're just going to pop that on there. And put this on here. Okay. Now, like I said, I think that's um, too big on there. Maybe not. Let's do it. So I just make sure this is tight. And then I cut a piece of this off. And I should get my hot glue gun out, but I'm too lazy. So we're just going to put this on here. clamps on here so they dry. And let's get some words. Hmm. Christmas. I was thinking if I make them really shrink them down, I can make a garland. That would be cute. Don't you think that would be cute? A little garland? Like you can probably print them really tiny. So there you have it. Pretty cute. I like them. So do another one real quick. Um, some of them have trim because I was playing around. Put our uh, paper clip up. Take a piece of double sided tape. Add some art glitter glue to the top piece. Put it down. Oops. That wasn't a very good stick. But it'll um it'll be fine because this is going to cover it up. And it'll be fine. You can't sweat the small stuff. Put our clock face on. I'm 
this one I want to put and I'm gonna have to put some baby powder because these are sticky. Now they're sticky no more. And let's get a um, fun, just fun. Oh, man. So, just a little variety, okay? So you get the gist. Um, I'll do a few more off uh, camera and show you the final results uh, before I post my video. Okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, there you go, my crafty friends. So, what time is it? Is it mitten time where you are? I hope I hoped so if you like to be cold and snowy. I like it to be warm and sunny here. So I will um, pass my mittens off to you all. So have a blessed, beautiful day. Bye now.